code signal RK deposit profit hello internet my name is Joshua and I'll be solving deposit profit let's get right to it all right so you have deposited a specific amount of money to your bank account and each year your balance increases at the same amount of growth of rate oh, with an assumption that you don't take any additional deposits find out how long would it take for it to pass a threshold well wow. so let's look at this one you deposit a hundred and the rate it grows is 20 um, in this case it means 20 percent and the threshold is 170 and you can see right here that starts as initially as 100 but once it reaches past that threshold um, that's the you output how many years does it take to reach that point 20 percent my goodness tell me what bank that is am I right guys anyways um, let's begin so um, I would say that I would use a while loop. You could do this recursively, but if you do this recursively, it's going to increase the space complexity of the problem, which is what we don't want to do. We want to do this in constant space. Um, so here's how I would solve it. Um, so first we need a while loop. Um, oh, by the way, I forgot, something important to notice, instead of rushing through this, you, should, you usually should write like an algorithm, solve it. So, um, I think I'll just do that as good practice. Okay, so what you can notice here is that, first off, um, when you're trying to compare the threshold, and you can see every time it increases, you have to see the threshold amount. You can see it's going to be a double value, so these int values are not going to be useful. So you want to convert your, your deposit into a double, and then you can calculate rate for each year, and so you're going to need a year counter. You also um, kind of need to convert the threshold into, into a, a double so that you can compare it. So anyways, double amount equals double deposit. This is how you cast um, a certain value to a different type. Now, you, now it's guaranteed to eventually reach that point if the rate, the rate's definitely going to be between one to 100%. So that means you know it's definitely going to increase no matter what you do. And let's see here, you want to make sure the amount is still, you want to keep increasing that amount it's before the threshold. And I need that year counter also, since it starts at zero initially. So in the situation that, let's just say your deposit's already past your threshold, it returns zero, which means no changes occurred. But each time it goes through this while loop, we want to increment by one year for every change that it's done. And that change is going to be amount times equals um, now the rate plus 100, I'm going to convert this to a double actually. Now we know that it's going to in multiply, it's going to be increasing by this amount guaranteed. And we'll wait until that amount is going to be greater than the threshold. Now the sense that we can't compare a double with an int, we also have to cast the threshold as a double. Such a nuisance with Java, which is why you should have practiced with Python. A good practice is that you should do this in your mind, but now if I don't walk, it looks like it's going to pass. So let me see if I could make it pass through the submit button. Is it pass all test cases? Um, looks like it does. Okay, that's great. So let me show you how I did this. First, you had to convert this to a double because you could tell from the problem that you want to be very specific with that threshold um, when you um, increase it each year, uh, unless you're a very bad bank. But um, anyways, um, initially start with year equals zero because um, that's you deposit your deposit. Okay, and um, now the rate is going to always increase. Um, it's going to be, uh, you know, above between one to one hundred percent, which is good. And um, <clears throat> so now we got to make sure that this amount is going to be incremented. Um, until it's greater than the threshold, and once it does, we also have a counter for a year, so that for every iteration, it shows like one year has passed, another year has passed, and then we just return the years once it's done um, completing this condition. I think it's pretty straightforward and easy. Um, otherwise, if not, if you have any questions, comment below, and I'll get back to you with it. If you have a better solution, definitely put it in the comments below. This is going to take about the time complexity, I don't know what to say. It really is dependent on 
I mean, th these are pretty much in a certain proportion towards each other. It's really the, the time complexity is in the relationship with um, with these variables right here. I can't comment on it, but I can tell you the space complexity is like all of one, which is good. All right, guys. Uh, Please like and subscribe, and if you do, I'll give you an 80% interest rate in your bank account. Um, it'll help you, or if you don't want that, I could give you a 30% uh, interest reduction to your college loan, which is probably 0%, so it doesn't make a difference right now. Oh my gosh, my math is terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this at around like 2 a.m., guys, so please forgive me for my rambling. I'm going to end this video before anything happens. <laughs>